Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this ETF report for SQQQ. The report was first published on our website Monday, October 3, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell SQQQ? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since September 13, 2022, our system ranks the SQQQ ETF as a sell candidate, giving it a score of 2.627. If you were following our analysis you would have had an amazing gain of 21.32% since we first told you to buy SQQQ 15 days ago. This is an average return of 1.42% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for SQQQ our last headline reads, Is SQQQ ETF still a buy after falling minus 7.09% on Monday? The SQQQ ETF price fell by minus 7.09% on the last day, Monday, October 3, 2022, from $61.32 to $56.97. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 9.4% from a day low at $55.84 to a day high of $61.09. The price has risen in 7 of the last 10 days and is up by 18.89% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the ETF, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the ETF. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 33 million shares and in total, 125 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $7.13 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $67.69, and the lowest price was $5.99. Right now the price is 15.84%, or $10.72, below 52-week high and 92.95%, or $751.50, below all-time high March 12, 2020 the, the ETF price lies in the upper part of a very wide and weak rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $61.38 will firstly indicate a stronger rate of rising. The current 3-month trend indicates a possible 6.74% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 33.41% and 15.01%. The 12-month trend it indicates a 35.44% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 51.46% and 70.26%. This equals a price between $27.65 and $97 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets In this section we will give you some information about signals found for SQQQ. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the ETF. The SQQQ ETF holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average there is a general buy signal in the ETF giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the ETF will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $57.18. On a fall, the ETF will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $46. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the 3-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Friday, September 30, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 7.09%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a buy signal. Pivots gave a sell signal 2 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 194 days ago. 
The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal two days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal 17 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal 24 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average gave a buy signal 16 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a buy signal 13 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 7 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for SQQQ On the downside, the ETF finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $53.68 and $51.78. There is a natural risk involved when an ETF is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the ETF then may fall to the next support level. In this case, SQQQ finds support just below today's level at $53.68. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $51.78 and $46.96. This ETF may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this ETF is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the ETF moved $5.25 between high and low, or 9.4%. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 9.13%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, SQQQ meets first resistance at $58.15. If you do not hold SQQQ shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn SQQQ finds first level of support at $53.68 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. Our recommended stop loss is $53.75, minus 5.66%. This ETF has high daily movements and this gives high risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 1 days ago. Is SQQQ ETF a buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for SQQQ ETF to perform well in the short term. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this ETF since the last evaluation from a strong buy to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Tuesday 4th we expect SQQQ to open up $1 and start trading at $57.97. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.